So, the spectrum, I think, is what it's about, is everything from a sonic uh, pain for the visually impaired to Isvan Cantor torching one of his paintings outside his studio about four, four weeks ago. And I think they show the total, the complete spectrum between uh, what you can do as a designer. I think both are completely legitimate uh, uh, expressions. Of Beauty, I think, is something we all think about as a designer. And a chair, when you think about it, is nothing more than a, a way to rest your feet. But I spent a lot of time on this chair sort of thinking out every single line, or this is a dish rack that I did with my ex-partner, Alan Kirk. For Umbra, same thing. Chaos theory, I think. Hunter S. Thompson behind the wheel of a big white Cadillac on the strip of Las Vegas personifies chaos. But out of chaos comes amazing things. Almost everything I think we do as a designer uh, stems from some level of chaos or unpredictability. And I think out of that comes some really amazing things. What it really, I love this particularly because it's the kind of things that non-professionals do when they're solving problems. Everything from windshield wipers that don't work, so they just tie a string and they pull it through each window, or a ride on lawnmower. When you think about it, it's a brilliant design. It's, it's amazing. So I, I love this idea of, now reality is something that I think about a lot, because in the end, this is the kind of issues we're facing. Everything from peak oil to receding or thinning ice cap on Greenland to extreme weather. I really think, as much as I'm dealing with things like you, the real issues are things on a much grander scale like this. And that drives a lot of my work. Also, I think the days of the solo star designer are over, and I think most of it, the big things that are going to happen in the future as a designer are through collaboration. This is a project we did for the future of the personal vehicle, personal car at George Brown College. And it ends up, there are no private cars in the future. Uh, commitment. Paul Watson from uh, Sea Shepherd. His claim to fame is he got kicked out of Greenpeace for being too radical, which is amazing. His idea is it's there's no longer time to legislate. He goes out and sinks whaling ships with this panel on the side of his ship, literally sinks other ships. Uh, design thinking. Oh, sorry. Design thinking. Um, we always think we've, in, we've invented design thinking, but I think if you look at what the Inuit did with the snow goggles, with the materials they had at hand, it's a brilliant uh, example of problem solving. The Edge, Hunter S. Thompson again, was two of his favorite things, guns and motorcycles. And I think the reason I put this here is uh, the Edge is something we have to explore, I think, to really create great pieces of art and design. And he's probably a great example. No one understood the edge more than he did. Context, this is an installation we did for Nuit Blanche last year at the Design Exchange, based on Canada's satellite from 1962. This is what we turned it into. And this is everybody standing around looking up at this amazing shell. And in the next slide, what you'll see is we found out that very quickly people weren't standing. Most of the crowd is actually lying down. It was, it was described by Blog TO as uh, uh, Louis Blanche's trippiest insulation, like a slow, fuzzy acid trip, I think is what they said. And we ended up having 17,000 people through in one night. And I really got excited about the idea of shared experience. Okay, the other thing about design I think is really important to think about is the influence it can have. Uh, AK-47 from 1947, the most produced semiotic rifle in the world, and the Fender Stratocaster from 1954. Both of them very, very influential designs, and you can see that they have entirely different influences. Inspiration, I think, I find this fascinating. A guy named Frank Fish, that's his real name, noticed that there's these bumps on the front edge of a uh, humpback whale. If you put them on the front edge of a wind turbine, you end up with far more efficient uh, 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 energy production. Um, innovation, this is something I worked on a little while ago. This is called the Emota Chair. It uses voice coils on the seat in the back to communicate sound to the hearing impaired. Literally, you can hear a symphony orchestra through this sound system. It's a great example of Canadian innovation and the kind of thinking of the risk and probability. I think about this a lot because a lot of things are so unpredictable. Uh, this is me this summer going over the bars of a mountain bike and uh, 
I hit my head, almost broke my neck, ended up with a concussion. I started thinking a lot, you know, if I'd gone like a kilometer an hour slower, that wouldn't have happened, but it did. That led to my next purchase, which was this. It's the, it's by a Swedish company called Puck. It's the state-of-the-art mountain bike helmet, and it uses materials that uh, haven't been used in helmets before to distribute the, uh, the, the load when you hit something hard. Um, the unexpected, this is me answering a Craigslist ad for someone to design martial arts equipment. It turned out to be MMA equipment. I had no idea what MMA was. I learned all about the sport, and uh, this is a Waterloo company, by the way. So they do other things in Waterloo besides research and motion. Self-expression, I think, is really, really important. So I'm actually venturing into the art world. This is a piece called, I can't forget what it's called, but this is six feet by nine feet. And it's vacuum form plastic because I'm an industrial designer. That's the mold there. And it's really dealing with a lot of the themes I've been talking about tonight is this collision between different ideas. Ideaceous is, this is the, uh, based on the form I did for Nuit Blanche. And it's an amazing Canadian company that puts uh, buyers and creators together. And I've developed this project that's uh, laser cut plywood. It's flat packed. And uh, it's available online at Ideations. The future, which I think ultimately as designers and creative people, that's why we do things. It's to influence the future. 